Adjective. An adjective is a word that describes or modifies a noun or pronoun. It provides more information about the noun or pronoun by answering questions like what kind, how many, or which one. Degrees of adjectives. Positive degree, the basic form of an adjective. Example: tall, happy, big. Comparative degree, used to compare two things. Example: taller, happier, bigger. Superlative degree. Used to compare three or more things. Example: tallest, happiest, biggest. How do comparatives work grammatically? Grammatically, comparatives are formed in different ways depending on the adjective. Short adjectives, one syllable, add or to the adjective to form the comparative. Example: big comparative, bigger, fast comparative, faster. Long adjectives, two syllables or more. Use more plus adjective to form the comparative. Example: beautiful comparative, more beautiful, expensive comparative, more expensive. Irregular adjectives. Some adjectives have irregular comparative forms that don't follow the rules mentioned above. Example: good comparative, better, bad comparative, worse. How do superlatives work grammatically? Grammatically, superlatives are formed in similar ways to comparatives. Short adjectives, one syllable, add est to the adjective to form the superlative. Example: big superlative, biggest, fast superlative, fastest. Long adjectives, two syllables or more. Use most plus adjective to form the superlative. Example: beautiful superlative, most beautiful, expensive superlative. Most expensive. Irregular adjectives. Irregular adjectives have irregular superlative forms as well. Example: good superlative, best, bad superlative, worst. Can we use double comparative and superlative? Use of double comparative, more stronger, and double superlative, most strongest, is wrong. When comparing two or more things, you should use the comparative form of the adjective er or more. Or the superlative form of the adjective, est or most, when comparing three or more things. Example: strong, stronger, strongest. Here are ten adjectives with comparative and superlative degrees. Gradable and non-gradable adjectives. Gradable adjectives. These adjectives can have different levels or degrees. They can be compared and often use words like more, less, very, etc. Example. Cold, colder, coldest, beautiful, more beautiful, most beautiful, good, better, best. Non-gradable adjectives. These adjectives do not have degrees because they represent an absolute state. Example: dead, unique, perfect. Irregular adjectives. These are adjectives whose comparative and superlative forms do not follow the typical patterns. Example: good, better, best. Bad, worse, worst, little, less, least. Order of adjectives. When using multiple adjectives to describe a noun, they generally follow a specific order. Opinion. What you think about something? Beautiful, ugly, nice. Size. How big or small something is? Big, small, large. Age. How old something is? Old, young, new. Shape. The shape of something? Round, square. Rectangular, color, the color of something: red, blue, green. Origin, where something is from: American, Chinese, Italian. Material, what something is made of: wooden, metal, silk. Purpose or qualifier, the purpose of the noun or any other relevant detail: dining, wedding, gardening. Comma between adjectives. Use a comma between adjectives when they are coordinate adjectives, equal in rank, and can be rearranged without changing the meaning. Example: She wore a long, flowing dress. And between adjectives, use and between adjectives when they are cumulative adjectives, each with its own meaning. Example: She has long and curly hair. Article: An article is a word placed before a noun to indicate the reference of the noun. In English, there are two main types of articles: definite articles and indefinite articles. Indefinite articles. Indefinite articles are a and n. They are used when we are referring to a non-specific item or quantity of something. 
Here's how to use them in various contexts. With vowels and consonants. A is used before words that begin with a consonant sound. Example, a dog, a book, a university. In is used before words that begin with a vowel sound. Example, an apple, an hour, an umbrella. With H, use A if the H is pronounced like in house. Example, a house, a historic event. Use an if the H is silent, like in honor. Example, an honor, an hour. With abbreviations, use A or N based on the way the abbreviation is spoken. Example, an FBI agent, a UFO sighting. With numbers, use A or N before a number to indicate a non-specific quantity. Example, she ate an apple a day. With common nouns, use A or N before a common noun to refer to any one of a group. Example, I need a pen. Can you lend me an ear? With expressions of quantities, use A or N with expressions of quantity. Example. He bought a dozen eggs. She has a lot of friends. With linking verb, use a or n when introducing a singular noun after a linking verb, like is, was, seems, etc. Example: She is a doctor. He seems an expert. With as and like, use a or n before a noun when using as and like for comparison. Example: She dances like a professional. He runs as an athlete. With proper noun to show strangeness, use a or n before a proper noun to indicate something unusual or unexpected. Example: She met a Queen Elizabeth. I saw in New York. I never knew. With a famous noun, use a or n when referring to a well-known thing or person in a new or unexpected context. Example: He has a Mona Lisa in his basement. With more and most. Use more with countable nouns in the plural form. Example: He has more apples than she does. Use most with countable nouns in the plural form. Example: She has the most books in the class. Remember, a is used before words that begin with a consonant sound, and n is used before words that begin with a vowel sound, regardless of the letter that follows. These rules help to determine which article to use based on the sound of the word that follows. Definite articles. The definite article in English is the. It is used to refer to a specific noun, indicating that the speaker and the listener both know which specific thing or things are being referred to. Here's how to use definite articles in various contexts. With already mentioned nouns, use the when referring back to a noun that has already been mentioned. Example: She bought a book. The book was interesting. With shared knowledge, use the when both the speaker and listener know which specific thing is being referred to. Example: The sun rises in the east. With unique objects, use the when there is only one of something. Example: The earth revolves around the sun. With plurals, use the before plural nouns to refer to all members of the group. Example: The flowers in the garden are beautiful. With uncountable nouns, use the with uncountable nouns to refer to a specific amount or instance of something. Example: She enjoys the music. With phrases and clauses, use the before phrases and clauses that act as nouns. Example: She is the one who helped me. With comparative and superlative adjectives, use the with comparative and superlative adjectives to refer to a specific degree of comparison. Example. She is the tallest girl in the class. With nationalities, use the with nationalities that end in s a c h s h or s s. Example: the Chinese, the French, the Spanish. With nominal adjectives, use the with adjectives used as nouns to refer to a specific group of people. Example: the rich should help the poor. With musical instruments, use the when referring to musical instruments. Example: She plays the piano. With proper nouns, use the before specific names of geographic locations, monuments, and bodies of water. Example: She visited the Eiffel Tower. With ordinal adjectives, use the with ordinal numbers to indicate a specific position in a sequence. Example: She came in the third place. With measuring in units, 
Use the when referring to specific units of measurement. Example, she is about five feet tall. With body parts. Use the when referring to specific body parts. Example, she touched him on the shoulder. With titles and organizations. Use the with titles and organizations that have a specific reference. Example, she works for the United Nations. With family names. Use the when referring to specific family names. Example, the Smiths are coming over for dinner. With countries. Use the with countries whose names include words like republic, kingdom, states, etc. Example, she traveled to the United States. With plural names of countries. Use the with plural names of countries. Example, she visited the Netherlands. With abstract nouns. Use the with abstract nouns when referring to a specific instance or concept. Example, the love between them was undeniable. Zero articles. Zero article refers to situations where no article, neither, a slash n, nor, that is used before a noun. This occurs in specific contexts where the noun is used in a general or abstract sense, or when the noun is considered a non-countable noun. Here are some common situations where zero articles are used. 1. General or abstract nouns. General truths. Example, water is essential for life. Abstract concepts. Example, love conquers all. 2. Plural nouns used for generalizations. General statements. Example, dogs are loyal animals. General truths. Example, cats like to chase mice. 3. Non-countable nouns. Abstract qualities. Example, she has beauty. Materials. Example, they built the house with wood. Languages. Example, she speaks French fluently. Sports and activities. Example, he enjoys playing tennis. Meals. Example, they had dinner at home. Professional titles in a general sense. Example, she is studying to become a doctor. Names of diseases. Example, he suffers from diabetes. 4. Names of meals, days, and months. Meals. Example, they have lunch at noon. Days. Example, they went hiking on Sunday. Months. Example, her birthday is in August. 5. Geographic places. Continents, countries, cities, streets, parks. Example, she visited Paris last summer. Example, they live in New York City. Example, he went to Central Park. 6. Titles. Books, movies, works of art. Example, she read Romeo and Juliet. Example, they watched Avatar last night. 7. Uncountable nouns used in general contexts. General activities. Example, they enjoy reading. Abstract ideas. Example, he has a lot of courage. Concepts. Example, freedom is precious. Thank you.